For the peanut sauce recipe from Chantong Thai, you will need a 19 ounce can of coconut milk split in half, a four ounce can of masaman curry paste, that's about one small can, one small cake of palm sugar, four to five heaping tablespoons of peanut butter, one to two tablespoons of fish sauce. So the first thing you're going to want to do is in a saucepan over medium low heat, one half of that can of coconut milk. And simmer together the masaman paste and stir those ingredients together consistently. Make sure that it comes to a nice, smooth, consistent coloration. And you'll see that it'll start to bubble and the aroma will get stronger. And once that aroma really starts to get strong and you see those bubbles coming up, go ahead and add that second half of the coconut milk. And then you'll add a small amount of water, about half a cup, to the can of coconut milk just to rinse out some of that additional uh, coconut milk goodness and then pour that water in. You'll want to increase the heat to medium high. Then we'll want to add one cake of palm sugar and then your fish sauce. That's one to two tablespoons of fish sauce. And the palm sugar will slowly start to melt. You can help that out by breaking it up a bit with your spoon. Once the palm sugar is fully melted, you'll want to turn the heat down to low and add the peanut butter. It's gonna be about a quarter cup or plus one or four to five big heaping tablespoons of peanut butter until you like the texture. You might want to need to add a little bit more peanut butter if you feel like it needs some more peanutty flavor. You may need to add a little bit of salt or a little bit of sugar. Of course, every brand of peanut butter is a little bit different. There you have it. Once it's come to a boil, your peanut sauce is done. Let it cool off a little bit because you don't want it boiling hot when you eat it. And uh, then enjoy it with fresh rolls over rice, noodles, however you want to enjoy it.